We saw a cool new kids handlebar from Pro Taper. It has a more narrow bar, so it has a more narrow grip. It's only 22 millimeters. It features a sweet lock-on grip, and it's meant just for kids. We also saw a cool cutaway of the Dominion brake. It's uh, kind of cool and shows exactly how things work inside of a brake lever. In case you don't know how the brake fluid is pushed, now you can take a look at this example and kind of see the inside workings of uh, one of the newer brakes on the market. We also got to check out the HB130 Hope Trail Bike prototype. It's a full carbon frame with a machined aluminum rear end that is something I hope is one of the best at. It's a really good looking bike and we can't wait to see it come out on the market. We also got to check out the newer and lighter weight Helm 130mm fork from King Creek. It's uh, available in 27.5 and 29. It has a shorter offset crown and now features a full lockout. We also saw this crazy belt drive hybrid mountain bike dirt bike combo. It's fully electric. It's from a company called Cake and it retails for a whopping $12,800 US dollars. We took a closer look at the $100 Ryan Concepts Livewire shoe. It's available in three colors and it features their rubber kinetics high grip outsole and a D3O impact zone for the insole. Display was We Are One Composites new carbon handlebar. It's a 33 millimeter diameter bar, but it has an aluminum spacer piece that makes it work for a 35 millimeter clamp. So far, they recommend only using their stem with the bar, but should have other options available soon. We also checked out the We Are One Composites Union Rim. It's available in 30 millimeter inner diameter and a 21 millimeter vertical diameter. It takes tires from 2.4 to 2.8 in width and it's fully hand laid in British Columbia. A popular product at Seattle was Trust Performance's new fork. It features their multi-link suspension platform that provides 130 millimeters of travel. It features a full carbon chassis that they claim to have 20% more stiffness than a normal fork and it weighs only 1980 grams. A fun little product from the company called Hornet is their Klug wall mount. It comes in different diameters and sizes. You simply mount it to the wall and due to its flexibility, it adapts to your wheel and keeps your bike held intact in a vertical position. Looks pretty sweet for our workshop. Not a particularly new product, but exciting nonetheless is Goodyear's Newton downhill tire. It's meant for both enduro and downhill use. It's available in 27.5 and 29 inch sizes and 2.4 and 2.6 inch widths. Another tire we got to check out was E13's new TRSR tire. It reminds us a little bit like a specialized butcher. It's a single wall trail tire and they claim that it has a rounder profile this time around than some of their more square options that they've had in the past. To round things off, we took a look at Bontrager's new wave cell helmets. The new wave cell technology is meant to crumple, flex, and glide during an impact. The helmet pictures is their mountain bike version. It's called the Blaze and it retails for $299. One cool feature is a GoPro or light mount on the top that magnetically is held to the top of the helmet. The version pictured is claimed to weigh in at 420 grams. Thanks for tuning in for our 2019 Sea Otter coverage. Stay tuned for more YouTube videos and don't forget to subscribe.